Hi, I'm Sam from Red Ferret, and before we start this video, I want to ask you to subscribe down below to stay updated on our latest race and awesome content on the space of YouTube. Let's get cracking with this video. So in front of me, I have the Anchor PowerPort Atom PD-1, and this is a USB charger, not your regular USB charger. It's a very, very tiny device, which can even charge your MacBook Pro, and that's awesome. Charge fast, live more. I don't know if uh, charging really makes a difference on my life, but... Never know. Happy, tell your friends. Not happy, don't tell your friends. <laughs> For the fastest and safest charge, use an anchor cable, which I don't have, your device's original cable, which I have, or another certified cable such as MFI. It uh, has an input of 100 to 240 volts and an output of 5, 9, 15 and 20 volts as well, which is great and it's speedy charging which is fast. So PD charging is uh, via USB-C as you can see here and it actually means power delivery and it's just an, oh, sorry. It's just an easy way uh, to say quick charging like the Qualcomm quick charge we all know and this is the, the um, upgraded version or something like that. So it's uh, just quick charging, nice charging, big charging. With this small device you can charge a MacBook Pro. Let's test if that really works. So they claim that you can charge your iPad Pro 11 inch in 2 hours and 15 minutes with this small thing with the uh, stock charger. It would take 2 hours and 54 minutes. The iPad Pro 12.9 inch would only take 2.54 hours while the stock charger would take 3 hours and 27 minutes. It has 30 watts USB-C output and it can charge a MacBook MacBook 12 inch, iPad Pro, Samsung, Google Pixel, iPad Pro, 10.5 uh, inch iPhone, 10R, iPhone 10, iPhone 8, etc, etc. To be clear, of course, this is a 15 inch MacBook Pro, the big, big one with uh, the touch bar on the bottom as well. Oof, that's very bad for your cable. It's, yeah, it's getting a turtleneck. Ah, uh, turtlenecks are so bad. No turtlenecks on your cables, otherwise they're broken, Simon. Beware of the turtleneck. So this is my MacBook Pro. It's on 59% right now. I'll plug this in my Mac. And it's charging. Voila! And that's it. Uh, very easy. And that's the video. Bye-bye. No. Um, so 58%. Uh, let's see. Uh, it does say battery is not charging. To be fair, I already knew it worked. Uh, but not really the way it was supposed to. Of course, they don't really say on the Anchor website that it can charge a 15 inch uh, new MacBook Pro, which would be very amazing if it could have could do that. Um, but uh, right now it also dropped 1%. It's on 57% instead of 58. And it's still calculating how long it would take to charge the MacBook. Um, but it can, I think, hold your battery at a certain percentage, especially on the on the big one, the big MacBook. But for example, if I connect a USB-C port where it has USB uh, inputs, uh, where it has an SD card input and all that things, oh, right now it's on 58%, so it, uh, it uh, got a bit uh, higher. Um, if I connect the cable to a USB-C hub, which is connected to my Mac, uh, I get the power is not big enough to uh, power everything up. So for example, if I connect my screen via HDMI to a USB-C dock and I connect that USB-C dock to my Mac, I can power my screen with uh, this small thing. However, for um, on the get-go, uh, if you just have your MacBook Pro like this without anything connected, it will work. Um, it really will. Or for just some charging, as you can see, or as I can see right now, 202 hours and 22 minutes until charging is completed. So it really will charge your MacBook. It will be slow, um, your MacBook 15 inch. Other MacBooks will be better, of course, smaller ones, uh, but it will charge your MacBook. If you're not using it, for example, it will be faster as well. Uh, but if you're using it, it will be very slow and even it will deplete the battery. If you're on a trip, for example, and you don't have a lot of room in your backpack and you have to choose between this or this, then I think think you will choose this one because it's smaller it will also charge not as fast as this one but hey uh, as you can see that's that's big and heavy while this one is very lightweight and and not that big so that's a big difference so macbook does work let's see um i have a tablet over here which i've also reviewed on this channel it's also usb-c samsung galaxy tab 3 i think it is 
let's plug this in so it's plugged in and as you can see it starts charging immediately does this work of course it does work it's fast charging with the blue indicator on the power thing you can see that uh, it has fast charging um, it can charge a macbook which was for me the most important factor and um, if i'm going on a trip for example i can easily take this one with me in my backpack instead of the big one and then just charge my MacBook overnight, for example, after I've used it for uh, some browsing or some editing, for example. Um, and it will work uh, as, as good as the other one, but um, it won't be that fast. Right, so if you have any questions regarding this Anchor charger, let them know in the comment section down below. And I'll be very, very glad to help you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike. And tell us why, so we can improve our videos in the future. It's already on 73% and I've been talking like one minute right now. And I hope we'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.